Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with American RV. Today we're going to go over the 2016 Sabre 36 QBOK. This is going to be a quad bunk model. It's also going to have four slides. But why don't we go ahead and take a look at some of the features on the outside. First is going to be our fiberglass front cap. Very well designed front cap, it has beautiful graphics on there. You get the LED strip here as well as some other lights. Uh, just very well done. Right underneath that, you're going to have your Trail Air Rotoflex pin box. That's going to help take out some of that bucking and chucking as you're going down the road. If we look underneath the pin box, we have this nice big open compartment here. This is also going to open up from the sides, but it's going to be open all the way through, which is wonderful. And then if we lift this up here, we're going to have our spare tire. The great thing about we'll having it in here is it's going to be protected from the elements. You don't have to worry about sand and salt uh, getting on there and deteriorating the tire. Also, as we look down at the bottom here, you'll see it's going to come fully equipped with JT strong arms. The great thing about those is it eliminates the need for a tripod on your kingpin. So it's going to look a lot nicer and it's really easy to set up. If we take a, a wide shot at the uh, fifth wheel, you'll see we're going to have a very large awning that's going to run all the way down the length of the fifth wheel. It's going to be a huge awning, perfect placement, it's going to roll out, you're going to get great protection from the sun and uh, in case it rains, you, again, you can stand underneath and great, uh, very large awning. If we look at the roof line, you'll also see you're going to have downspouts, which are also going to help if it rains. And then you'll also have the same thing above the awning. Open this compartment here. We'll have our propane tank. We have one on this side. We're also going to have one on the other side. And as we take a look, this will be the pass-through. Again, this compartment, like I mentioned, opens up from both sides and you can also access it from the front. Your main entry to the coach, this coach is going to have two, but the main one, you get this nice, easy grab handle here, three steps, make it nice and easy to get into your fifth wheel. Two outside speakers on this coach that will be controlled from inside, which I'll show you more on that multimedia center when we go inside, but it is going to be Bluetooth capable, so if you do have a phone or maybe an iPod, you are able to control it from outside and still be able to listen to the, or yes, still be able to listen to the music wired out here. You'll have aluminum rims. Um, not only are they going to look nice, but they're also going to uh, help resist rust, unlike your steel. And then a little bit tougher to see, you're also going to get your Equiflex suspension. So the Equiflex suspension in conjunction with the nitrogen fill tires are going to give you a smoother uh, towing experience. Second entrance here, again three steps, it's going to go right up into the, uh, the second bathroom. And then here's gonna be our outside kitchen. I really love what Sabre's done with the outside kitchen. They just have a ton of elements they've put in it. You have a very large fridge, plenty of space in here. Great storage up top. You have some lighting. This is gonna be your hose for your sink. Just gonna tie into right here, that way you have a fully plumbed sink. Nice countertop space, also gonna have a TV outlet. So if you do want an outside TV, nice and easy to hook up, plenty of space in order to put that. And also you get a microwave, which is great, because that way if you want a quick snack while you're outside, you're able to do so. As we move around back, we also have an arm right here that's going to be for a grill, which is great to have. And then you're going to get the tailgate storage system. This is wonderful. It does come with the Sabre. You can use this as a bike rack. It'll hold four bikes. Or if you have uh, maybe like a large tote or something that you want to take with you, you can drop this down. And this is going to be able to withstand the torque as it's going down the road. It's wonderful that it comes with it because it's not going to void any of your warranties because it comes straight from the manufacturer. Also, you'll get a, a ladder to get up onto the roof. It is going to be a fully walkable roof. That way you can get up, on, or get up there to clean off your roof and any kind of maintenance. And then you're also going to have a backup camera. That's going to be phenomenal if you maybe you don't have a good spotter, or maybe you do, but you just want to kind of see what's behind you. Maybe you're towing a boat behind you, but that's wonderful because you're going to be able to see uh, everything you need to. Also, on this side, it's a little bit, uh, little bit tougher to see. It's kind of tucked away, but you do have a light right here in case you are hooking up or unhooking at night, power cord, and then you're going to have your electric jacks right here. All right, folks, why don't we go ahead and head in, take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the Sabre 36 QBOK. 
One of the things I love about this, it's gonna have a U-Dynat. Chances are you're probably gonna have some kids with you. Wanna make sure you're gonna have enough room to sit everyone around the table. This is a free floating table, so it can move, and also it drops down. The nice thing about that, if you wanna take it over to the couch, which I'll show you a little bit later, you can actually drop that down and make it a coffee table, which is awesome. Also, in the dinette here, if we take a look at the bottom, both sides, we get some nice drawers here for extra storage. All right, straight across from the U Dinat is huge storage area. Take a look at that for pantry, folks. That's a ton of room you have there. Great place for chips. The opening is going to be big enough for cereal boxes. Anything you want in there, you have the space to do it. As we move over, we get our fridge and freezer combo. Again, plenty of space here. This will be both propane and electric with automatic switch over. So that way, if you're running propane, as soon as you plug it into shore power, it'll switch over to electric to help you save some gas. You do get storage up top as well as along the side. Now here they do have a pull out pantry. This pulls out great place to put some cans right in there. And then underneath your fridge, take a look at this. Huge deep drawer. This is awesome for pots and pans. A lot of times it's hard to find a nice big deep drawer. In the 36 QBOK, they took care of it. And like I say, a great pot and pan drawer right there. Moving in to the other part of the kitchen. Again, the, the same story continues. Ton of storage here. You're gonna have a very large microwave nice and big fit everything in there you're going to need we're going to get a ton of countertop space in here beautiful solid surface countertops you have this wonderful backsplash that's going to be right around your cooktop three burner stove top of course glass cover the thing i love about this it just folds up tucks away nice and easy also acts as like a, a double splash guard there for you and then underneath here we will have our conventional oven we're also going to get an excellent bank of drawers. First one is going to be pre-divided for you for your silverware. And the rest are just going to continue on with excellent space. Also here, nice opening. You have extra storage in here, but it comes with a trash can. Nice and tucked away for you. Beautiful high-rise stainless steel faucet. It's going to um, pull down like that so you can move it from sink to sink. Nice and industrial, great look. And then you're going to have this double bowl under mount sink. The great thing about this is gonna be a stone cast, so it's not gonna scratch as easy as your stainless steel. And you know, some people look at it, they, they aren't familiar with it, but it is going to be a superior product. It's actually gonna be an upgrade over stainless steel. It works uh, very, very well, like I said, and it just doesn't scratch nearly as easy. Also up top here, one last thing I wanna show you, do get great storage up top. You have access from the other side, so right as you walk in, you can have access there. And of course, I showed you the uh, storage around the microwave here. Now, part of camping, unfortunately, is rainy days. Luckily, we have a beautiful entertainment center here to compensate. So we have a very large TV storage all the way around, up top, on the side here, great storage. We have some side compartments. Um, we're also going to get our multimedia center here. I did make note of this one on outside. This is going to be Bluetooth capable. So you can hook that up to your iPod. That way you can control it from outside, listen to music out there. It's also going to control the speakers in here. Um, this one's also gonna have a couple different plugins on here. I love HDMI for, um, for mirroring, SD card slot. It's just going to be a, a great multimedia center. Also underneath here, you are going to get a fireplace that is going to be electric. Um, it, it works very, very well. You know, I have a lot of customers that say, oh, I don't need a fireplace. If you've never used one, you're probably going to say that. If you have used one, I guarantee you, you won't. It's basically a giant space heater that looks really nice. Um, but you know, sometimes you just don't want to use a propane, try to use as little as possible. If it's a cold morning, this does a fantastic job of taking the chill off. Also, as you're taking a, you know, as you're watching the TV, you're going to have to have a place to do it. Perfect. Here you are. This is going to be your couch. Great storage above. Plenty of lighting. Um, the other nice thing about this, this will fold out into a bed. So if they don't want to sleep in the bunk room, you do have an extra bed here. Speaking of the bunk room, we have this beautiful glass door. Let's head on in and take a look. 
One of the great features about the 36 QBOK is going to be the bunkhouse. It has dual opposing slides giving you a ton of room back here as well as a bathroom I'll show you in a little bit. But first, let's take a look in this slide. You get two bunks, which is great. Top bunk, this is going to go ahead and fold up, and then you can just lock it in place if you wanna sit on the bottom one. Have light here as well as a couple windows, and check this out. This beautiful panel right here, boom, drops down, and you have a ton of storage under there. Great place for you know all your sleeping bags, pillows, everything else you're gonna need. You can just toss it right in there. All along the back of the coach, we have great storage mirrors here so your children can see themselves when they're getting ready. You have great, um, some hanging rods. All right, that way you can hang clothes, drawers. You have some shelves here. You're also going to get a hookup for a TV. So you can have a TV back here so the kids can enjoy that. Another wardrobe here. In the opposite slide, a little bit different bunk setup. We still get our light and we have a window here. Top bunk, this is gonna be stationary. This bottom bunk, however, during the day you can use it as a couch. So you have a couch here, this nice table which can be removed. And then at night, this will actually just lean, uh, lean forward and then this cushion will be put on top of it and that will make your fourth bunk. Just a great system. And then here, as I mentioned earlier, we do have a second door that's going to lead right into the bathroom in the bunkhouse. You get great storage up top. As we take a look, you can see here we're going to have our mirror, medicine cabinet, vanity, just great storage all around. And of course, you're going to have your stool. All right, why don't we go ahead and take a look up front. We'll take a look at the master bath and bedroom up there. In our master bath, we have our medicine cabinet with a mirror. Below that, of course, we get our vanity with a molded in bowl and some storage underneath that. We get a very large shower in this unit. Uh, great shelving in there. It is going to be one piece, so less chance for leaks. And we also have an uh, oversized skylight up top, which lets in a ton of natural light and also gives you a lot of extra headroom. To the side of that, we get excellent storage, nice and deep, great linen closet, plenty of, uh, plenty of room for all your towels and everything else you'll need. And then, of course, at the base of that, we will have our stool with a ton of legroom. In the bedroom, we are going to have a queen bed. You get shelves on both sides, which is going to be great, so you can charge your cell phone, maybe have a glass of water at night, and then you do get electrical outlets on both sides as well. You have windows, uh, which will create a nice cross breeze coming through there. And then if we look up front here, of course we have mirrors so we can see ourselves in the morning. And then you get a ton of storage in here too. Shelf across the top. You get a nice shoe rack in the back here. I apologize. I have the box for the TV. 42 inch TV in the living area, by the way. <laughs> There's that. And then you get a nice side wardrobe here too. So this will be connected um, up top here, but not on the sides. Now the, the other nice thing about this section is this can come out and you can have washer and dryer hookup in here as well. Also, right in the front, you get a nice shelf, you get some extra drawers, and another window, again, help let in a lot of natural light. If you do want a TV in the bedroom, you have extra hookup in here, and then you have the speakers in here, which are connected to that multimedia center that I showed you when we were in the main entertainment area. Again, folks, thanks for joining me. This is the Sabre 36 QBOK. It is a wonderful floor plan. Uh, if you're looking for a model, you know, a nice fifth wheel that's going to be very well built, have four bunks, your outside kitchen, a ton of storage, then this may be the one for you. If you have any questions, please either give myself, Ian Baker, a call or one of the other amazing sales consultants here at American RV, and we can help you get on your road to freedom. Thanks, and have a great day.